In today's video, we are going to be discussing self-concept, how to increase your self-concept. And for those of you who have no idea what self-concept is, this is also going to help in your understanding of what self-concept truly is. As a disclaimer, I would like to share that everything that I speak about here in this video about self-concept and self-image, I am speaking strictly from my experiences and my perspective. I'm going to be sharing my opinions on what has worked for me in the past. And again, hopefully by the end of this video, you have a better understanding of what self-concept means to you. I want to get right into the video. So I like to describe self-concept as a few things. It's a lot of things and self-concept to me definitely has an identity element to it. I believe that if you are transforming yourself to a particular degree, especially if you are wanting to receive a desire or become a higher self or just improve self that you are using your awareness muscle and you have some sort of understanding that without you knowing that you can do something, you do not believe it, therefore it cannot be done. So I definitely believe that self-concept has an identity element to it and without that identity element, it is often hard for us to make the transformation that is required in order to receive the results that we're looking for. I did mention in my previous videos about self-concept being threefold, so I'd like to share those layers here in this video. Self-concept to me is how you define yourself Number one, how you define who you are in relation to the world. Number two, and how you define yourself in relation to others. Number three, looking in and under the umbrella of self-concept is what those three layers look like to me. A lot of us may even want to define self-concept as self-love and self-reflection, self-esteem and self-worthiness and deservingness. And I believe that it is all those things. However, it is important to still consider that self-concept does have an identity element to it. And without that deeper understanding that this goes deeper than just doing the task doing the the journaling doing the scripting the meditating doing the jogging or whatever that's going to allow you to get into the desire and closer to the desire knowing that you are the desire there is really no chance that you will be able to see it manifest I also want to get into some of the false beliefs of what some of us might think self-concept was or is. I know for me, I had a kind of wild definition of self-concept when I was just first starting out. And a lot of what I'm going to share is, again, there, there are points to consider and to work on because a lot of us really find ourselves in these beginning stages of development and there's a lot of guilt or shame into it and and you want to make sure that when you are approaching a new path a brand new desire that you are giving yourself grace and patience so that you can actually perform at your best and actually feel your best during the journey you you can feel your best along the path getting to your destination because it's about the journey versus the destination. Some of the common false beliefs about self-image, self-identity, self-concept is that you believe that there is nothing to learn in self, that you believe that there is no further awareness that has to be attained. And you are essentially cutting yourself off from further growth and further development, further awareness because awareness of self expands, awareness of self evolves, and you wanna make sure that if you are on a journey to manifesting anything, just you know, better health, better consciousness, better feeling states of being, mental health, that you are understanding that there is nothing that is going to be finished when it comes to self-love and self-concept and self-identity because it is always growing self-concept is infinite and you know that because you are in infinite realities and you are in everywhere at once so it is, it is quite is quite profound to know 
the power of your subconscious mind, the power of your mind, and the power of focus. So if you focus on knowing that your awareness can expand, can improve, can increase, uh, you will suddenly start to open yourself up to the possibilities of who you are and who you can be and what you can receive. And also the relationships that you can start to nurture and grow and expand as well. Another false belief that I want to mention is that again, you do believe that there is just one self, one world, one universe, one self and you don't want to limit yourself so you are essentially putting a cap on your awareness level who you believe yourself to be what you believe yourself to receive it's actually hindering who you are at your core because if you are an emotional being if you are a spiritual being a human experience that you are essentially always growing that you are even more expansive than you could ever imagine and you do not want to put that cap on your growth because there is so much more to experience there is so much life to experience and so much emotions like higher rational states of being to experience that by saying that you have nothing else to learn in self that you are just in one reality one world one consciousness that you are essentially holding yourself back and you are limiting yourself from further expanding the next point that I want to mention that is a false belief is that you believe that life is happening to you. So we're getting into the Vic Black mentality era and we are wanting to unpack that a little more because I knew that my victim mentality was extremely real. Like it appeared very real in my reality, which allowed me to continue to spiral, continue to not have stability, continue feeling misalignment, dysregulation, and just not being my authentic self, my true divine self. And you wanna be able to combat that by knowing that you can make choices. You can start to speak to yourself in a way that is more courteous, that is more compassionate and more graceful and more authentic to who you would like to be. And you want to really start to reflect but also know that there is so much awareness to obtain that even if you start to reflect and you get overwhelmed by the emotion, that you can put it to rest and really allow yourself to just be in the emotions that you are feeling at this very moment. Know exactly where you're headed. And I'm also gonna be getting into how to obtain a high self-concept. First point on how you want to increase your self-concept is to have gratitude. Be grateful for what you are. Be grateful for where you are in this very moment, in this present moment. You want to be able to sort of detach from your external world for a bit if you have to in order to start to feel a sense of beingness and feel yourself expand into a greater space, especially if you are used to being confined in your own space and in your own body and not fully being open and you want to be able to push your your shoulders back and really just relax and start to feel your energetic self expand and that feeling of gratitude is really a divine element in bringing your desires closer is when you are grateful for what you already have or grateful for what is coming toward you especially if it's something that you are desiring that you realize that it is there that you realize that you are getting into alignment you want to make sure that these feelings of gratitude are coming toward you as naturally as possible. So you cannot force gratitude. You cannot force feeling good about what you have if you genuinely do not feel good about who you are, where you're at, and when you are feeling enough in those emotions where you can rest what is really getting you into that lower vibrational state of being that you can slowly start to move away from it because if you are aware that you are in a particular state of being and you want to be somewhere else and you have defined exactly where you want to be you have essentially created the path to where you need to be in order to obtain that higher state of being my next point is you want to 
be able to define, and I already mentioned this, is that you want to define your higher state. You want to define what self-concept means to you. So if you define it as you just want to be happy, you just want to have a zest for life, you just want to be able to live in the fulfillment, you want to decide that you are heading into this higher state of being, this higher realm of your self-concept, your higher self. This sounds very reflective, I understand, and it might again be overwhelming for you to sit yourself down for long periods of time to figure out exactly what it is that you want and figure out how you're feeling, but you want to give yourself grace because this is a process that is a lifelong process. This is a lifelong journey that is never going to have an end date. It might have a destination depending on the manifestations that you want to come to pass. However, you want to enjoy the journey as much as you can, as much as possible. And it is through enjoying the journey that you're finally going to start to get to destinations, multiple destinations that you have always known was going to come into pass. My next point is that you want Want to be able to prepare yourself for resistance this is just giving your subconscious mind some time to fully process that there is a new change coming about that you are now moving from your old self into your new self self concept and you are wanting to release what is repelling your desire so the best way that I have been able to release resistance is that I've been able to identify my resistance address it in my subconscious in my belief system and also be able to release it through a form of working out going out for walks doing something active so that i can fully release myself from the resistance to where i feel my chest is more open you could really start to feel resistance releasing when your chest feels more open because when you hold resistance it's kind of like your body is protecting itself and so it starts to create hardness and, and and a barrier really and you want to make sure that you are giving yourself enough breath work and physical activity so that you can actually work through that resistance my next point is that you want to remember the phrase be reflect be reflect so in this video i spoke a lot about state of being and you want to make sure that you are again paying attention to your state of being how you are feeling because your emotions are your emotional compass like you want to make sure that you are prioritizing how you're feeling but you're also paying attention to how you don't want to feel by actually feeling that emotion so take a few moments if you have to throughout your day to note down some of the emotions that you're feeling some of the self-talk that you might be telling yourself and some of the beliefs that you repeat to yourself over and over again you want to look at how you are speaking to yourself because those are phrases that are attached to an even bigger belief system that you want to dismantle you want to dismantle that belief by saying you know what I deserve everything that I want I deserve everything that I desire I see many desires coming into my possession many desires that are coming to pass into fruition into reality into my reality into my experience you want to make sure that you are giving yourself that positive feedback that positive self-talk and you will notice that as you are being exactly who you want what you want the person that is receiving the things that they are desiring that you are going to start to see more of that reflect in your reality that sums up the video i intend that there have been some gems in this video and if there are any tips that have helped you along your self-concept journey please feel free to leave them in the comment section below i look forward to continuing the conversation and for now i will see you on my next video cheers